When you press down on your gas pedal, have you ever wondered what actually happens inside your engine? How does your car know how much fuel to send, and how does it mix perfectly with air to keep the engine running smoothly? That magic is handled by something called the fuel injection system, and today we're breaking it all down. By the end of this video, you'll not only understand how fuel injection works, but also why it replaced carburetors, how modern systems are getting smarter, and what this means for performance, fuel efficiency, and even your wallet. Let's start with the basics. Every internal combustion engine needs two things to run, air and fuel. But here's the tricky part. It needs the exact right mixture of both. Too much fuel and not enough air, and the engine runs rich, wasting gas and creating more pollution. Too much air and not enough fuel, and the engine runs lean, which can cause misfires or even damage over time. The fuel injection system's job is to get that balance just right, every single time the engine runs. Now, before fuel injection, cars relied on carburetors to mix air and fuel. Carburetors were mechanical and did the job, but they weren't very precise. They wasted fuel, struggled at different altitudes, and couldn't adapt well to changing driving conditions. Fuel injection solved all of that by delivering fuel more accurately, electronically, and efficiently. So how does it actually work? At the heart of the system are fuel injectors, tiny electronically controlled valves. Think of them like nozzles that spray fuel into the engine. The engine control unit, or ECU, tells each injector exactly when and how much fuel to spray, based on information from a bunch of sensors. And these sensors are constantly monitoring everything, the amount of air flowing into the engine, the temperature, the pressure, the throttle position, and even the oxygen levels in the exhaust. The ECU takes all this data and adjusts the injectors in real time. That means whether you're idling at a traffic light, accelerating onto the highway, or climbing a hill, your engine is always getting the precise fuel mixture it needs. There are different types of fuel injection systems too. The most common is multi-point fuel injection, where each cylinder has its own injector spraying fuel here the intake valve. This allows for better distribution compared to older single-point injection, where one injector handled everything. And then there's direct injection, which is the most advanced. Instead of spraying fuel into the intake port, it sprays fuel directly into the combustion chamber under very high pressure. This improves power, fuel economy, and reduces emissions, though it comes with more complexity and sometimes higher maintenance costs. To understand it better, imagine this. You're cooking rice. A carburetor is like just dumping water in the pot and hoping you guess the right amount. A fuel injector, on the other hand, is like using a precise measuring cup every single time, adjusting instantly if your heat changes. That's the kind of precision that keeps modern engines running so smoothly. Now, here's something a lot of people don't realize. Fuel injectors are incredibly fast. They open and close in milliseconds, spraying a fine mist of fuel that mixes with air perfectly. This mist burns more completely than the droplets a carburetor would produce, which is why fuel injection engines are not only more powerful, but also more fuel efficient. Quick pause here. If you're enjoying this breakdown and you love learning how cards really work, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. It helps the channel grow, and it means I can keep making detailed videos like this for you. Now, let's dive even deeper. Fuel injection systems also make emissions control possible. Remember those oxygen sensors I mentioned? They measure how much oxygen is left in the exhaust gases, sending feedback to the ECU. If the mixture is too rich, the ECU adjusts the injectors to spray less fuel. If it's too lean, it adds a little more. This constant adjustment keeps your car running cleaner and more efficiently while meeting strict emission standards. And here's another benefit, cold starts. If you've ever tried starting an old carburetor car on a chilly morning, you know the struggle. Fuel injection systems automatically adjust the mixture for cold weather, giving your engine the extra fuel it needs to fire up instantly. Of course, like any system, fuel injection isn't perfect. Clogged injectors, faulty sensors, or a failing fuel pump can cause problems like rough idling, poor acceleration, or lower fuel economy. But the upside is that most of these issues are easier to diagnose because the ECU stores error codes, which mechanics can read with a simple scanner. So, to wrap it up, the fuel injection system is the brains behind your engine's fuel delivery. It replaced carburetors because it's more precise, more efficient, cleaner, and more adaptable. By using sensors and an ECU, it can instantly adjust to your driving conditions, making sure your engine gets the perfect mix of air and fuel. 
The next time you press your gas pedal, you'll know exactly what's happening. Injectors firing in milliseconds, data flowing from sensors, and your engine working like a finely tuned orchestra. That's the beauty of modern automotive engineering. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe for more deep dives into how your car works. And let me know in the comments, do you drive a car with direct injection or are you still rocking an older system? I'd love to hear your experience.